Hello, my name is Reed and today we're doing a toe. So first thing I need to address is that my hands are rather blue. I dyed my hair the morning I filmed this and I couldn't get all the sanding off my hands because is this more fun to do it with your hands when it's a semi-permanent dye because it's got no permanent effect, it just stains your hand for like two days. But I forgot about that, that I had to film with my hands, so... You know, but yeah. Also, I filmed this quite late because I had a very full day yesterday and this is the only time I could film it. Also, this is not in real time whatsoever. This is sped up like two and a half times. Because I think the whole thing only took me about half an hour-ish. Just the inking part, but then everything else took me probably about an hour overall. Because there's a lot more that goes into an inking rather than just the ink, unfortunately. But yeah, the fact that from the so late it's probably good that it was a more simple one, but yeah. So this one is just a witch's wand and her hand, basically. Just darkening out the wand. Um, so this one is a lot simpler, but I wanted to practice drawing smoke. And I've got quite good at hands, so I thought, if the smoke goes bad, at least the hands will look okay. <coughs> So that was the concept behind this one mostly is mostly so I could do smoke and also because I love drawing hand tattoos but I don't get to draw them very often because you often can't see them on the hands that I draw either because it's just too small or the fingers are hidden or you're looking at the palm of the hand so that's something I really enjoyed was doing the hand tattoos. So I'm just adding some depth to the hand. Um, this one I took a little more time and normally I kind of rush the shading part because I've got so much else to do but because this is a slightly more simple illustration I spent a little bit more time adding depth to it. Yeah, sorry my head shadow is over as I said it was quite late and the main light is behind me at my desk. I do have another light you can see it just in the right hand corner but it, if I put it on the strongest thing, it's just it's too bright and you can't see a thing. So I have a bit of paper over it just to even it out a bit. Because, yes, I can't afford proper studio light, so I have a lamp with a white bowl with paper over it, okay? I am a broke student. I am doing my best. So here I am just adding kind of a glow to the top of the wand where the crystal will be. I darken that up later, though. At this point, everything's just kind of at its lightest stage, except for the one. I don't think I might add any darker. But yeah, I'm just kind of adding shadows, and I think here I start adding in the red. At the tips of the fingers, the knuckles, and like the thumb parts where the skin is closest to the vein, so it would be a little more pink. I mean, everyone's hands are quite pink in comparison to the rest of the body, but I like to accentuate it just in those certain parts to make it kind of pop. So basically, I didn't want to make it too strong, but then I struggled making it too weak a lot because the dye is quite strong, but I don't know, it's something I'm not used to completely yet, so I've got to get used to it more. So I'm just adding it more to all the fingers. But yeah, I think I have quite nice colour, and I actually considered getting uh, ink pads because it's the type of ink that is quite cheap to buy lots of colours with, but then I'm like, I don't know, I kind of like the way the no colour looks, except for the tiny bit of reds and pinks, but um, I can't wait to get back to my watercolours and have all the colours that I want. Yeah, I'm still enjoying this challenge, but going with that colour for a whole month is a little odd for me. So here I am adding in a pentagram. Um, this is the pagan one, I think. Yeah, it is. I was going to do the satanic one, and I'm like, Ugh, I can't be bothered. It's, I couldn't remember how to do it upside down, plus I just didn't want to cause too much drama with it. So it's the pagan one, which is actually closer to witchcraft anyway. Because witchcraft is normally paganism, not satanism, but... Whatever, it's just kind of a tattoo, and she's got a kind of leafy, herby thing on her thumb. Not her thumb, her pinky. So I was like, they use lots of sage and all sorts of things in witchcraft. I'll add one in. And here I've got like a moon where it's a full moon with two half crescent moons. 
on either side because that was a popular witch tattoo when I put that into Pinterest. <laughs> Honestly. And then on her thumb, I'm just adding a crystal because I thought there's a crystal on her wand, a crystal on her thumb. It all, it, it's all part of the theme. Yeah, I'm adding in her nails with pure black. So I'm giving her a kind of stiletto nail, uh, which is what I give all the hands I do. I think once I'm done, I do kind of extend the stiletto nail further than I normally would to make it look just extra witchy. But I love stiletto nails. Like, I love them a lot. But I don't think I'd ever wear them because I just, I don't think they'd suit me. And I think I get a lot of strange looks for wearing them. With looking like a boy pretty much all the time. I very rarely dress similar enough to have those nails. But I mean, I could do, um, what's that makeup, a um, YouTuber that does a makeup who wears his acrylic nails. He's bloody awesome. I like him. I can't remember his name because I've terrible at names, but you know, whatever. He dresses very femininely a lot sometimes. Well, he always looks sexy. I like him a lot. He breaks me a lot of stereotypes, which I like. Anyway, <coughs> here I am just kind of adding in the thumbnail, which I kind of forgot and it was looking a bit odd. But yeah, I think I've already, yeah, I did extend, as you can see, those two bottom ones. They are quite long, and it's longer than I would normally make them. So here I am starting in to add the smoke. Starting to add it, yeah. So, oh, my voice is going. So, I wanted the smoke to kind of be like powers from the wand. and Yeah, because the smoke is something I'm very new to. I tried drawing it in something else. I can't remember what it was. I'll probably throw it away. And it just looked horrendous. So since then I've been kind of going on Pinterest a lot, looking at different types of smoke and other people's illustrations of smoke, and getting a fair idea about it. Understanding how you know other people draw it and what it actually looks like, and good ways to stylize it. And I came up with this kind of thing. It's pretty common with um tattoos, although normally they do, don't. They just do the outline. Sorry, Danica Sills also does something like this, but hers is. A lot better than mine for obvious reasons she's been doing it a lot longer and yeah she's just a very good artist but she's been doing it a lot longer than I am because she's in her 20s I think and I'm only 17 so you know I'll get to that stage eventually but yeah just adding in more smoke adding in different colors of smoke to make it kind of look like some of it's further forward some of it's further back uh, yeah, so then I said it needed more smoke towards the middle, so just adding in more little bits of smoky stuff. God, it sounds like I've been smoking. Oh my god, my voice is terrible. I don't know if you guys can hear it as much, but my voice sounds very rough. I don't smoke, by the way. I don't know why my voice is playing up so much. It's, like, been weird for the last week or two. It's, like... You can't. You feel like you're gonna be sick, but if you're not sick. You don't have a cold or anything. You just feel like you're about to get a cold because your voice is all gone. Your nose is runny and you're coughing a lot, but you know nothing's happening. We're just like fucking with you. I'm like, thanks, body. I don't know. It's just very strange and very annoying that it's happened when I'm trying to do Inktober because obviously I'm talking a lot into the speed paint camera thing. But yeah, almost done adding in the smoke. I actually quite enjoy doing smoke, because normally it turns out a lot worse than this, but it turned out pretty good, I think. I like the way, yeah, here I am adding in more of a darker shadow from the, one. Well, as I was saying, I like the way it's like all different colours, and the way it kind of comes out from the wand. I could have done that a little better, it kind of looks a bit stiff at the wand. I could have made them connect in different ways, but I still like it. Here I'm adding more depth to the hand, going with all the shadows, under the wand, around the fingers, and my camera is deciding to go in and out of focus again, what the hell? I don't really know why it does that, sorry guys. Is it, what the? The whole video, it's fine, then we get like 75% like of the way through, and it's like, no, I'm going to freak out on you now. <sighs> 
so sorry about that, but not much I can really do about it, because, and every time I look at it, it's in focus again, so, yeah, just darkening up the shadows again, going over them, making sure they're very obvious, and the speed paint's pretty much over, I'm just going to add in the uh, lines with my black colour pencil. Um, if you so that's pretty much the end of the speed paint, I'll just let you guys watch through to the end. Bye! So we're doing cover day 8, so sorry this one was so short but I got home at 9 and it is now 10 o'clock almost and I am very tired, I've got a full day of work tomorrow because not only do I have to do my cover but I've also got 3 other pieces I need to complete by the end of the week. So I'm slightly swamped but I'm getting through it okay, so yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, hope you guys enjoyed it even though it was shorter than normal. Hope to see you guys tomorrow for October Day 9. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to take your paintbrushes out of your water.